Hello friends, this is Jess from J. Rose Alchemic Art and welcome back to another video. In this one I will actually be prepping for a one day market that's a little bit more local. It's just like a crafter market essentially so I have not heard the greatest things about it so far um, just from my other fellow vendors so we'll see how it goes. I'm, I don't have high expectations but you never know you might be pleasantly surprised so we'll just go ahead and get started right into all the prep work that was pretty much mostly done already but just at least getting started with that so let's go ahead and jump in. Okay so I got something super exciting in the mail today. I had wanted to make some shirts and like a crew neck basically and a tote bag because my tote design never quite worked out when I did this year um, of my designs that I have done. So here is, it looks like we got the crew neck here first. So I did this with Printify and oh it looks super cute. It says shop till you drop. So. That's a fun design, and of course Princey is wanting to um, also just hop along in the middle here. Thank you, buddy. Oh, goodness. So, I will do um, a full, like, preview of this and probably of myself wearing it after I wash it. But yeah, that's super exciting. And then, sorry, um, I have Midnight here in the background as well with Lucy. Um, and then we have the tote bag design too, so let's see how that turned out. Oh, it is very cute. Although I think it got, is it ink on it? Yeah, I think it's got a little bit of ink on it. Well, that might be a little sad, but um, we have the Phases of the Moon um, tote bag, so that's really cute too, honestly. And let's take a look at the other side. Very nice. I think if I maybe iron it out, it should hopefully get the wrinkles out. But yeah, this is kind of like my idea that I really wanted to try out. So it's nice to actually see it full, full term here, fully. Yeah. So yeah, I'm super excited about both of them. And then I have a t-shirt coming as well. Um, so I will make sure to show that when it comes here as well. But I will probably wear this for the market tomorrow. I might wash it really quick. And then the tote bag. I might just have this, because they're both samples really, um, I might just have this be my own um, and then if people are interested in it then yeah maybe I'll work on like selling them myself. Um, but for now I'm pretty excited about these, these are really cool. Hello friends, this is Jess from J. Rose Alchemic Art, um, back again here it is about 12.18 at night time, um, and yes, I definitely procrastinated way too late because I have my market in the morning. I have to be there at 7 a.m. to like start getting ready. <laughs> um, but we obviously need to pack and make sure everything is all good to go, so I am in the middle of that, and I realized that I've run out of all of my bags to for those who actually purchase like some of the larger clay things or bigger products, so I thought I would just take you along and we would work on that together. So that is the point that we're at. Um, I also need to find some time to sleep here. So I'm going to try to get through everything really quickly and then get to bed because yeah, I need to be up early. So we'll go ahead and start with that. So I have my handy dandy no issue stamp and I'm just going to brand all of the bags super quick because I feel like that is the easiest way to do it. Uh, the problem with it though is that you have to like press down really hard and make sure that you get the whole image on there and I don't think that's going to work with where we're at so let's see if we do a better job if it's an individual bag. I always forget how to do it when I haven't done it in like a while so let's see. There we go. Yeah, we'll just have to do it individually. I 
And now that all of the bags are done, still have to pack up all of this mess. Um, this is an accumulation of work and art and kitten evidently as well. Um, but yeah, obviously you have to pack everything up so that it's all good to go for tomorrow. Um, and we'll kind of go from there. I still need to like, I'm pretty sure most everything is done already. It's just a matter of like putting it in the car. So that's going to be my next step. But at the very least, the bags all look very nice. Um, some of them, the very first one was not great necessarily. But uh, that might just be like an oopsie. Uh, hopefully, I mean, I don't know how much people keep bags, but um, either way, it can be recycled, so that's okay. And we have obviously, <laughs> Caesar is very interested in the box for my um, sticker books and potentially the cauldron pole as well. They're very interested in that, but that's okay. And then have uh, my bin here of like miscellaneous stuff, my money box, there's actual money up there. Um, you always bring at least, like I usually bring like $100 or something just to make sure that we're ready in case people need change. And then stickers, um, that are, those are more bags, and then the actual box there are the plushie keychains. So yeah, I think that's pretty much everything. So time to get it packed up. Okay. Everything is pretty much picked up and put away in the car, and I have my little tote bag that I just picked up, and I'm going to go ahead and bring that with me as well. I'm not sure that I'll say that it's a new product, but I definitely, at the very least, I brought, like, in case I forgot to pack some things, I brought some extra bags and some, like, serving plates that look kind of spooky, and those are going to be um, some new things that'll go... Uh, if I potentially forget some of my display for like my clay items, then I think those will look really cute. But yeah, Prince has been obviously a helper, I suppose. <laughs> he, at the very least, he likes to hang out with me. And then Caesar's also over there in the corner, and he's also been kind of following me around. I think that they have kind of missed... I've been either sleeping or working today, so it's just been kind of a chaotic week this week. But, um... I'm excited for tomorrow. I really don't know how it is going to go, per se. It's a one-day um, market from like 9 a.m. to about 2 p.m. And I've not heard of it before, but they were obviously posting about it on Facebook. Um, so that's where I obviously heard about it. So I'm excited and hopeful, but I also don't expect too much. So we'll see how it goes, at least. But yeah, for now, I'm just going to go ahead and get ready for bed because I'm really tired. So I will check in with you guys again in the morning. Okay, good morning all. Um, it is currently about 6.30. I did go ahead and have breakfast and everything is all packed up in the car. I didn't end up showing you guys that because by the time I actually finished it was getting close to like 1 a.m. and I was really tired. Um, but I'll probably show like a little brief little clip of like how everything is tetris in. I almost forgot the tables and the chair until I already climbed into bed, was getting ready to sleep, and then I'm like, oh yeah, I probably need that. <laughs> so, um, thank goodness for my memory. It comes in clutch sometimes. Only sometimes. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and grab my other stuff here. So I have my two other bags, and then we'll be good to head out. So let's go ahead and grab everything and then get ready to go. So apologies for my car being a bit of a mess, but it's all kind of tetris in together. So it is what it is. Um, but we have all of the clay things up here in the front. I do have in the back, we have the stickers, I have a chair, obviously my table, um, all of the like packaging supplies and what have you. Um, those are my plushies, the um, cauldron poles and the sticker books in there. Uh, there are more art prints and sticker sticker sheets in there, and then I have another table up here. So it all hopefully fits and we'll get there okay. Um, but I gotta leave in like the next, uh, well, like now, um, so I can hopefully make it there on time. So fingers crossed, let's hope it all goes okay. So 
yeah, if you couldn't tell from the previous clips, I definitely forgot like half of my display setup. So I ended up just using some of the trays I'm and plates that I bought recently. I'm so glad that I brought them. But yeah, a lot of stuff was just kind of left on the table, which is not ideal. But at least for the clay items that were on like the plates and the serving trays, I think it looked a little cute. So I'm, we'll go with it from there. And then this was actually the view of behind the booth. And yeah, it's 8.23. I actually finished pretty early, so that was good at least. But we'll move on to... This was a brief little clip of me just waiting for people to show up. Um, honestly, I think there was maybe like... 10 to 20 people that maybe came to this event my mom did drop me off some breakfast because i forgot to pack stuff um but yeah it was like two o'clock and i think i had three sales if that so i did sell those pink sugar cookies that i had made back in valentine's day i did finally sell out of my i only had one left anyway of the um happy halloween enamel pin and then uh, some stickers so so Technically, it is much later from when I actually did that market. It's actually the following week because I have been flipping back and forth between day shift and night shift for a while now, so I've just not had time to vlog or edit or do anything. So we're coming back now live, um, but I figured I would just talk a little bit about that market. So it was probably, sad to say, probably one of the worst markets that I've ever done. I... Just, as far as like how many people actually came through, to be fair, the market was only from about 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. And there was actually someone who left after like 10 o'clock, if that really says anything to you. Um, it was actually a fellow vendor and they did happen to purchase some stickers from me, so that was nice. I kind of at least, hopefully, I did make back my table booth at least, so that's something. But yeah, the actual... Technically, the whole event itself, um, I had heard previously that it's not very well marketed. It is something that not a lot of people know of or come by to, so I really had low expectations anyway. Obviously, my main goal is always to at least make back my table fee, and I did that at least. So I really can't complain, I suppose, but yeah, it was pretty, it was pretty sad. I think I sold, um, yeah six stickers altogether. One of my, um, the last of my clay pink sugar heart cookies, an enamel pin, and a bookmark. And two of those purchases were actually from fellow vendors that were in the hall. And one was from a potential, well, from a customer. So if that says anything to you, um, yeah, clearly this did not go well at all. But I digress. Um, Again, I didn't expect anything at all, really, because I had heard from another fellow vendor that I table with frequently with my conventions that I've done. And she had actually told me beforehand that, yeah, there's not much traffic, there's not many people that come by, so I kind of knew I shouldn't expect anything. I have already paid for, I actually did like a three for one deal, so I paid for like two different days and then another day was free so all together like each day is going to cost like thirty dollars which isn't terrible but also i mean hope to at least make your money back so yeah. um but i'm hoping at least that you know maybe the next one will be better i know the weekend that this event was happening this previous saturday um unfortunately there was like a major like community festival going on and there was you know obviously a lot of competition with that most people go to that because it's been established and been around for quite a while um but on the other hand i evidently there were some people that were like native to the town where the event took this event took place and they said they maybe saw like two signs for it up and i really didn't see anything on social media for it so <laughs> you know um Obviously, I, I think once I have done these three different days, then I don't think that I'll be participating anymore in these this particular event. Um, so I'm hopeful at least that I can continue to make my money back for the next event as well, or for the next two days, I should say. Um, but I don't really have high hopes for making any more than that, so it is what it is. I also... 
I did actually get the confirmation or actually the, um, goodness, the payment for, or I guess I should say like the request for payment for my next convention. So that should be exciting. That's also going to be in November. So I'm excited for that one because I usually do pretty good with it. And otherwise, I mean, it's just keeping the shop all updated. Uh, obviously, uh, there's lots of new things on there still from the most recent shop update. So if you're still interested in that, make sure to check it out. Obviously, there are a lot of things still available. I will say my enamel pin did finally sell my Happy Halloween with um, technically it's Princey at the top. It's a black cat. Um, so that finally the last one did sell. So that was super exciting. I'm glad that I could finally do that and I'm hoping that maybe I can make some more new enamel pins here pretty soon. Um, so that'll maybe be coming in the future as well. And then otherwise hopefully yeah, people will check out the shop for um, Halloween and what have you. I am definitely starting to get in the decorating mood and clearly a lot of the cats are interested in the office here so apologies for the noises but yeah I am excited and hopeful that um, you know, hopefully people will be checking out the shop online at least. And then I did actually hear from another one of the vendors that there is a potential shop. Uh, it's a little bit farther away from me, um, but they do kind of like a consignment essentially. So um, if they respond back to my email, I filled out a form, then perhaps they will reach out to me and be interested in maybe selling some of my products in their shop. So that would be really cool. I think it's like a local book bookstore excuse me so here's hopeful for that fingers crossed and yeah I think that it'd be fun to see my products um, besides just being at my in-person you know one two three day events it would actually be available for purchase in like a store you know continuously so that is super exciting and I hope that I hear back from them soon but I will make sure to let you guys know Regardless though, I think that'll actually be all for this vlog. There will probably be more new things that are coming in the up upcoming one. Um, I will probably talk a little bit more. It'll be more of like a traditional, you know, week in my life type of vlog, I imagine. So look forward to that. I hope you're excited for it. And until the next time, I hope that you have a wonderful day.